Stability is one of the most important elements in developing a successful project, both in terms of the project's design and its effect on our jobs. In this video, we'll examine the idea of stabilization and how it may be used to develop massive projects that are long-term viable and successful. We are going to be outlining the fundamental concepts and techniques involved and will help you create projects like prompt in painting, input images, and text-driven image to image. Stick around because there is a lot to learn from this video, whether you're an engineer, a web designer, or simply interested in learning how projects are produced. Now, let's get started and discover how to build a mega project with a stable diffusion. Still ready to learn? First, we'll create a web application that lets users and a text prompt using stable diffusion to create images based on those prompts. Also, this web application will be built on Verso and use Next.js for the front end and the back end. Before we start, make sure Node.js and NPM are installed on your device or computer, as the case may be. In addition, if you don't have an account on Vercel, you can open one. Now, let's start by generating a brand new Next.js project using TypeScript and ESL INT. This command will build a new Next.js project in the directory My Project that supports TypeScript and ESL INT. In order to style our applications, we'll install Tailwind CSS using these steps. Number 1. Install Tailwind CSS and any other required libraries. Number 2. Set up your Tailwind template pathways, configuration JS. Number 3. Your globals should now include a Tailwind directives CSS file. Number 4. Activate the development server. Tailwind CSS has now been configured for your Next.js project. Now, let's develop a form for users to provide their text prompts before creating the image generation form. But before that, add the following code to your pages slash index.tsx file colon. By entering a text prompt and submitting the form, users can generate an image. While the image is being generated, a spinning loading indicator is also displayed. Okay. Our next step is to create the Stable Diffusion API route. To handle the generation of Stable Diffusion images, we need to develop an API route by adding the following code to a new file called pages forward slash api forward slash stable diffusion dot ts colon. Ensure that the a.env file has your replicate API token. Requests from the front end to create images using the Stable Diffusion model will be handled by this API endpoint. However, it's time to install our applications in Vercel using this method to set it up. First, put in the Vercel CLI. Second, utilize a CLI to access your Vercel account. Third, install the application and give the Vercel command in the project folder. Congratulations, we have succeeded in creating our best project using Stable Diffusion to create a web application that generates images in response to text input. We also start our applications with Tailwind CSS and Next.js, and we moved it to Vercel. The Stable Diffusion model's possibilities can now be explored using this application, which can produce visuals based on written descriptions. Next, we will be creating prompt engineering using Stable Diffusion. Natural Language Processing (NLP) in particular uses the idea of prompt engineering. The task description in prompt engineering is integrated into the input, depending on the tool and model you select. The result of the prompt may change. For instance, different stable diffusion models will yield different outcomes. What is a prompt? A prompt is a very simple explanation of the output you want. Typically, people start out by only using raw prompts. These images have the propensity to become chaotic and random making them frequent errors. The outcomes are adequate, but we may improve. As an illustration, we produce a stable diffusion tiger, a building, and a timepiece. It's crucial to add flair to our prompt. The AI will typically select the style it has seen the most often in photographs with a similar composition if it is missing a certain style. Sometimes, having a well-chosen style and raw prompt is sufficient because after the raw prompt, the style has the greatest influence on the image. The styles that are most frequently utilized are realistic, oil painting, pencil sketching, conceptual electronic art, cartoon anime, manga sketch, watercolor, abstract surrealism, and futuristic pop art. With the addition of style, we can see that the end result is improving. An excellent example is the pencil drawing of a tiger. 
There are numerous approaches to creating the greatest realistic image. Moreover, you can make realistic images by using an image of plus raw prompt, a snapshot of plus raw prompt, raw prompt, plus realistic, and hyper realistic. You can include an oil painting to your prompt if you wanted to produce an oil painting. Sometimes, this will lead to the image displaying an oil painting in a frame. To remedy this, simply rerun the prompt or type raw prompt plus oil painting. If you want to make a pencil drawing, modify your raw prompt by adding a pencil drawing of or by making it raw prompt plus pencil drawing. To include a creative prompt, you can mention certain artists in your prompt to improve your style. For instance, you might simply write Picasso or made by Pablo Picasso. If you want a really abstract picture, there are a list of artists in various genres below that you can utilize. But we always advise searching for other artists because it's a fun way to find new artwork. For portrait drawing, we have artists like Paul Cezanne, John Singer Sargent, Edgar Degas, and Jan van Eyck. In all painting, drawings by Rembrandt, Johannes Vermeer, Vincent van Gogh, and Leonardo da Vinci are names you can write. While in pencil or pen drawing, names like Albert Dura, Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo, and Jean Augusta Dominic Anger are what you can write. Last but not least, you can add trending on art station for a more artistic image or on real engine for more realistic lightning to your prompts to make it appear more like what you want. Anything can be added. However, illustration, digital paint, dark, gloomy, and octane rendering are a few examples of the most beautiful image ever seen. Finally, let's see how to build a unique diffuser pipeline for a text-guided image-to-image generation with the use of stable diffusion model utilized in the Hugging Face Diffusers library. After that, you will be able to use a straightforward sketch to produce stunning AI-generated artwork. Now, we have to sign in or sign up to Hugging Face. The notebook login method can be used to sign in. Following that, we'll begin the image-to-image -image pipeline. Load the pipeline. To pass a picture to the pipeline, download and prepare an initial image. Run the pipeline after defining the prompt. Strength is a number between 0.0, .0 and 1.0 that regulates how much noise is added to the input image. Numerous variations are possible with values that are close to 1.0, but they will also result in images that are not semantically consistent with the output. Simply type the following command in Colab to print the image. And there you have it, a stunning piece of art created by AI from a straightforward sketch. You may also experiment with other parameter settings to see what suits your use case the best. As you can see, the created image is more similar to the original. What do you think about the various innovations produced by these massive projects with Stable Diffusion? Have you ever used Stable Diffusion to create projects? Last but not least, AI Stable Diffusion is also a tutorial channel to help you in this new artificial way to work, to stay connected with your natural intelligence and use it to scale up yourself. The engineering that processes machine learning needs to start from natural learning data. For this reason, AI Stable Diffusion will radically change our approach to natural intelligence. This channel will teach you how to enhance your natural learning and put it at the service of automatic learning to gain an ethical and professional advantage. Welcome to AI Stable Diffusion. Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to be informed when we upload new videos. Thanks for watching, stay tuned, and we'll see you in our next video.